made I made the bold statement of saying that uh, cooked food is poison. So let's define these things. Okay, I would say that what food is is when you ingest it, you take it into your body. Your body is able to assimilate it and turn it into either structure or energy. It's usable. It, it goes through a, a conversion process that's um, alchemical. You know, it's magic. Now. When you ingest something that cannot be processed, cannot be turned into flesh and blood, does not produce energy, but rather requires a lot of energy to get rid of it because you have to get rid of it. So if you can't use it, you have to get rid of it. Otherwise, it's going to, going to accumulate as waste. So let's call that poison. So poison is that which cannot be used. Food is that which can be used. How does the shape of an enzyme remain? What causes it to have that particular shape? Well, two things, temperature and pH. So all of the enzymes in our body function best at 37 degrees centigrade or 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit. All of this shape in order to do one little thing. So you change the shape and there's no longer the function of that enzyme. So all enzymes have an optimal pH and an optimal temperature in order to maintain their shape so that they can do their job. Now they begin to lose their shape at 104.9 degrees Fahrenheit. They begin to lose their shape, which means they begin to lose their function. And that, that's also 40.5 degrees centigrade. Now they permanently lose their shape. They permanently lose their ability to do their work at 118 degrees Fahrenheit or at 47.8. Consider that water boils at 212 degrees Fahrenheit, right? Or 100 degrees centigrade. 118 is far from that. It's almost 100 points different. All, all food, all, all, protease, all proteins have proteases, all fats have lipases, and all carbohydrates have amylases. In other words, to what? To biodegrade, right? Something dies, falls onto the earth, an animal, a plant falls onto the earth, the enzymes in its system begin to degrade it. This is a built-in mechanism. Again, by the ignorance of the uh, universe? No. Because we eat food that's been cooked where we destroy the enzymes. The pancreas is so busy digesting food that there's no enzymes left over for metabolic. And so that's why we're lacking enzymes. Using enzymes, enzymes, enzymes. Why do we have to use a bunch of enzymes? Why do we have to take a ton of enzymes? Woven enzymes. Why do we have to take that? Because we don't have our own metabolic enzymes. Why? Because our pancreas is and our small intestine intestines are overworked because we take out the enzymes before we eat. Pretty clever of us, right? What happens when you overwork the pancreas? What happens when you overwork the small intestine? What happens when you overwork any organ? It becomes enlarged. It's called hypertrophy. These chemical reactions, mostly called the Maillard reaction, are they change into new substance. So we have new substances. We don't have what we started with. It's not a tomato anymore. It's not a broccoli anymore. It's not a steak anymore. I mean, it's not, it's not just a, a dead muscle anymore, dead muscle and fat. A thermalized diet increases oxidative stress, plasma, alpha aldehydes, and, and colonic inflammation in the rat. Okay. What do they find? They call, they call heating of food thermolysis, thermo, heat, lysis, breaking apart. Thermolysis of food results in the formation of what we call advanced glycation end products, AGE. Anybody who's studied or is interested in anti-aging medicine, anti-aging therapies, one of the theories with aging is the accumulation of advanced glycation end products. So what does the thermalized, heated, cooked diet do? Well, it causes a decrease of thiamine, thiamine with increased transketolysis, oxidative stress, reduced glutathione, increased Maillard reactions with the oxoaldehydes, and which we'll talk about later, protein adducts, oxidative stress, biomarkers in the livers and colon, increased macrophages with a fourfold infiltration into colon, colonic inflammation. Bottom line, cancer. Okay, so this is what happens with the cooked meat. The sarcoplasmic proteins aggregate at between 40 and 60. Remember, that's not even boiling. Unfolding of the myofibrillar protein starts at 30 and 32 degrees centigrade. Not even boiling. Subsequent gelation happens at 40 to 50. That's not even boiling. The collagen gets denatured. So what you're eating after you get done cooking it is not what you started with. Fragmented, non-viable remnants of the original protein tertiary structure is lost.